Good day grade elements. welcome to week 9. In this lesson we're going to be looking at analytical geometry and we're going to start off nice and easy. We're just going to look at the revision of the gradient. Nothing scary, just the revision of the gradient. So remember that the gradient means the rise over the run, which is change in y over change in x, which is y2 minus y1. So let me just explain what that is. If I have any two points, let's say that's the y-axis and that's the x-axis, that's your x and that's your y axis. And if I have any two points, let's call this, and let's just do this like this and we'll call this point 1 which is made up of x1, y1 and this here is point 2, point 2 which is going to be made up of x2, y2 then the gradient is basically going to be given by the rise divided by the run or the change in y over the change in x or mathematically what that means is that we're going to take yeah this y2 minus y1 which is going to give me my delta y divided by x2 minus x1 which is going to give me my change in x. So let's look at an example just to make sure we know how to do this. It says find the gradient of the line between a32 and b is minus 73. So let's just roughly plot this so we know kind of where things are so we can see what type of gradient we're expecting. And this here is the x-axis and this is y. a is 3, 2. So if we go along we go 1, 2, 3 and up 2. That there is a which is 3, 2 and b is minus 7, 3. b is minus 7 so it's going to be along here and up there. So b is minus 7, 3 and we want the gradient, we want the gradient of a, b. Now it really doesn't matter which one we designate to be point 0.2 or point 0.1 so I'm just going to call point b point 0.2 and I'm going to call a point 0.1. So we know the gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 and let me just draw a line going from one point to the other there. So let's have a look at this. y2 would be this value here. This is going to be x2, y2 and this is going to be x1, y1. So y2 is 3 minus y1 which is 2 all over x2 which is minus 7 minus x1 which is 3. 3 minus 2 is 1 over minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10. Therefore the gradient m from a to b is going to be minus one tenth. And what do we know about gradients? We know that if it's going up to the left it should be a negative gradient. So that looks about right. Okay, now there are a couple of things we need to remind you about. If we have a horizontal line, let's think about this, m is equal to delta y over delta x which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 but do you agree that as my point moves along this line here my x's change but my y value the distance from the x-axis remains the same so what am I going to end up with? I'm going to end up with a 0 over x2 minus x1 which is just going to be 0. So horizontal lines the gradient is 0. Vertical lines on the other hand your gradient m is delta y over delta x right which is again y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we look at this vertical line and just to make it a little bit more blatantly obvious for you, let's say that this, for example, is the point minus 3. And this point over here is going to be x is minus 3 and y is 4. And this point over here is going to be minus 3, minus 2. Right, because it's vertical, all the x values are going to be minus 3. So if I had to substitute in these two points, 
into that. Do you agree if we call this y2, we've got 4 minus minus 2 over minus 3 minus minus 3. 4 minus minus 2 becomes 6 over minus 3 plus 3, which is 6 divided by 0, which is undefined. Undefined. You cannot define it by a 0. So vertical lines, their gradient is undefined because you'd be dividing by a 0. Parallel lines. What do you remember about parallel lines? Well, this is really easy because they are parallel. If this is line 1 and this is line 2, then the gradient of line 1 is equal to the gradient of line 2. Always, always that have the same gradients. That makes life very easy. Whereas perpendicular lines have something very special. The rule with the perpendicular lines is this, that the gradient of the 1, let's call this line 1 again, line 1, and this, let's take that line 2, okay, the gradient of line 1 times by the gradient of line 2 has to equal minus 1. Or you could put it another way, the gradient of line 1 is equal to minus 1 over the gradient of line 2. So let's say for example I tell you that this is y is equal to 2x plus 3 and I say I want the gradient of line 1 and we know that they are perpendicular. So we know that for them to be equal the gradient of the 1 times the gradient of 2 must equal minus 1. So m1 times by 2 is equal to minus 1. Therefore, m1 is going to be equal to minus a half. And that grade 11 is your really quick, very cheap and easy little summary on your gradients. That's all you need to know to be able to do straight line graphs. Please make sure you know the stuff very well inside out, back to front, so that we can move on to more complicated stuff. Have a lovely day.